initially coming in, I was a third team quarterback. Because you had David Sellers, who was actually the backup to Dane. All right. Uh, the misfortune for for David was David got sick. Something happened to David. But David was out about a week, week and a half. So when David was out, then that propelled me to be number two. And so, you know, of course, that, that encouraged me. And, and maybe you just want to work a little bit harder. Um, just to tell you an interesting story. It's just about the, the transition from high school to, to college. It's that first game, Florida State. Number one, I've never seen a crowd that big before in my life. Number two, I've never been in a situation where it was that loud. And number three, I've never seen guys that big before in my life. And not only that, it was some serious hitting going on between our defense and their defense. And, and that, that whole process of the game, you know, I was pretty much in awe. And, you know, and I have to give Coach Collins them, you know, a lot of credit for whatever, but it was a good thing I didn't play early on because I really wasn't ready for it, physically or mentally ready to be thrown in like that, uh, in that in that particular situation. So obviously they had a plan. They didn't let me know what it was, but you know, obviously they had a plan. But you know, just do, during the course of the season after that game, it just kind of set a precedent. To, okay, this is what it's going to be like. This is how it is. And as the season wore on, you know, the communication started to get a little bit better between me, the coaches, Coach Collins. As the season went on, it started to get a little bit more reps because I started to become more familiar with the offense, uh, what to do, what not to do, and certain in reference to what we were doing. I couldn't necessarily say what was going on in defense because I never played against a college defense. And so as the year progressed, you know, that attention towards me got a little bit more and more every week. And then as we were playing, uh, I got an opportunity to play late in the year uh, a couple of games. And like you said before, you know, I was holding on extra points and field goals. So that kind of got me on the field and, and and getting acclimated, acclimated to, to what was going on in the game, get you tuned into the game, staying focused on the game, because at any time, you know, when that time came, you had to be ready to go out. And, um, you know, with that being said, you know, it, it all worked its way up to the last game of the year when we were playing Arkansas State. You know, and, you know I can remember clearly I was getting more reps during the week, more than I've ever gotten. So I'm like saying to myself, you know, I might get a chance to play this this week, you know. Uh, so I, I kind of got myself ready, and, and then again, I didn't want to get too excited to be to be let down if I didn't play, you know. But I think it was after the first series, Coach Tim came in and he said, "You going in next?" And I'm like, "Wow, this first time I've ever been in this early." And the game was still in hand. You know, you didn't know who was going to win. So I was excited, nervous about getting out there. And then, you know, once I got out there, things just kind of took control of itself. You know, you just kind of reacted and just played football. Was it the best game I ever played? No, not by a long shot. There was a lot of mistakes I made. Of course, there were. But the fact that I was out there playing and then uh, kind of getting the feel of actually being in a game that mattered. Not when the game was, you know, you knew it was going to happen. You're doing mop-up work and all this other stuff. You know, I'm playing in a game that mattered. And uh, and we were fortunate enough to win that game. And then from that point on, you know, I was on the field. And I was determined not to do anything to for them to pull me off the field. 